Dan here from Ann Makes. Thank you so very much for stopping by and welcome to my studio. For those of you who are new here, I am Ann from uh, Ann Makes. I have a website at www.annmakes.ca, so please go check that out. Please also subscribe to this channel so you do not miss any of my videos, whether they are haul videos or some DIYs, how to's, and other crafty videos that I might have. So in order to do that, just click on the subscribe button below the dis in the description below and uh, click on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a video. And also you can click on the little and makes there in the corner and that will also subscribe you to this channel. So today I am sharing with you a, a pre-filmed Dollar Tree haul that I did uh, four days ago. I went to Dollar Tree, I also went to Walmart, so I have a little bit of a Walmart thing to share with you, and on Thursday, and when I got home, um, I, I just had to deal with some bad news, um, and it just kind of uh, put me off for uh, filming, and I, I got sick <laughs> over the weekend, so yeah, I didn't get to filming this till now, till today, till Monday, uh, we're Monday afternoon now, and uh, so I did film yesterday the haul, the Dollar Tree haul, because I needed to put this stuff away, but I really was not feeling well or looking good at all. I mean, I'm look, I'm, I think I'm looking better today. I do feel so much better, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's done. And so uh, I'll show you what I got at Walmart. I went to Walmart to get stuff uh, that I needed in the house that I don't go to Walmart for very often. And of course I checked the craft aisle to see if there was anything worthwhile. And I always check the, anything that's on clearance in the craft stuff. So they have these boxes of beads now i'm in canada by the way so the prices are higher for us in canada than they will be for our u.s friends so you get these uh 7.6 ounces of these craft beads they're different sizes they pewter they're plastic pewter color silver gold and they was it was 12.97 on clearance for six dollars and fifty cents but you get quite a lot of these craft beads in there. I have no idea what I'll do with them, but I know I will somehow, someday use these, so I'll have them in my stash. The same thing for the, uh, they call these fantasy pearls, craft beads, yeah. Um, and these ones look like glass. They are plastic, but they, they look like glass. So this was also $6.50. And I got these pink ones that were also in the clearance for $6.50. They did have other colors, but uh, yeah, I limited myself to that. And uh, there was also this neat little kit, uh, which is a clamps and cord ends finding. So I'll show you what you put on the ends of ribbons and cords when you're making jewelry so it's, it's a nice nice box and there are 215 pieces it was $13.97 down to seven dollars so for us here in Canada that's a pretty good deal so I picked that up one thing that I was looking for at Walmart was plastic canvas and I don't know where the receipt is so I don't remember exactly how, how much I paid for these but they did have plastic canvas at Wal at my Walmart. I was uh, lucky to find these and these ones measure 34 centimeters by 57 centimeters so uh, so basically these are 13 and a half inches by 22 and a half inches long of this plastic canvas and they were I they were just under three dollars a piece and they also had these smaller ones that are half the size of that 
Okay, so they're about 13 and a half by by 10, they're like 10 and a half by 13 and a half. So they had these that were like a dollar 49, I believe, almost a dollar 50. And these were just under $3. So I got, was it under $3? Yeah, these were, they weren't quite $3, they were less than $3, but buying two of these was, uh, meant I had to spend just over $3, it was over a dollar fifty something a piece. So I got some of these really large ones, and I got some of the smaller ones, and lo and behold, when I went to Dollar Tree afterwards, I found the very same ones at Dollar Tree, and so... Dollar Tree had them for $1.25, but that's here in Canada, of course, so I don't know if the Dollar Tree's in the U.S. sell plastic canvas, and I haven't, I, I haven't seen this at every Dollar Tree, so yeah, so there you go, and what am I going to do with all this plastic canvas? I bought this really so I could cut it and use it to make drawer dividers and box dividers, kind of like you see in this box here you know there's like so this is a good plastic to use for that or if you want in a drawer to make dividers you can cut this easily so that's what I got it for just for an organization storage thing so uh, now I'll let's uh, check out the video I filmed yesterday uh, regarding the stuff I got at Dollar Tree Hi everyone, uh, so here's my uh, Dollar Tree haul this week. I never paid attention to these. They have these in the office supplies. They are the key tags by Jot. And you get eight in a pack for $1.25 of course, because we're in Canada and we pay $1.25. Um, and these are one and a quarter inches in diameter. And I picked them up because they made me think of Christmas because of the red and the green. So, and I just thought they might make some cute embellishments. Um, maybe we can, like, stamp some designs on there or put little stickers or just, you know, add, jazz them up or something. And they might make cute uh, Christmas-themed embellishments. So, that's why I picked them up. I saw this puzzle, and I really liked the... The picture on it with the paints and the paint brushes and I just thought well it might be fun for uh, us to do over uh, Christmas I was gonna say Christmas holidays but it's not like my husband has time off really. <laughs> so okay oh maybe I'll do it I don't know so it's a thousand pieces and the pieces are really tiny which I thought if there's interest in colors in here maybe I could save this for my mixed media making. Um, yeah, just because of, there might be some cute little images on here. I don't know if it'll, if it'll, there are any images on the individual pieces, but like this one here, you could see that it's like burlap, a piece of burlap, and there's some pretty colors. So, anyway, uh, I might do the puzzle and then just keep all the pieces for, um, a craft supply <laughs> I get there's a lot in here so and I know there and I've used puzzles as a craft supply in the past sorry about the noise uh, to make like pieces of jewelry push pins other embellishments to use them you know all sorts of crafts and mixed media projects so I picked that up I saw this stencil and I have all the stencils except I don't remember ever seeing this one. So I got it. The ice, all the other stencils I have. So I, I'm pretty sure I have all the other stencils that they have in this, this series except for this one. So I picked this up. It's by Jot and it's one of those self adhesive stencils. Another stencil uh, that I picked up and this one is a Color Factory. Uh, multi craft so this one is imported here in uh, by a Canadian manufacturer a Canadian distributor and I wasn't sure that I had this one uh, be 
and it says homemade, unique, handmade with love, something special, favorite piece. So I thought this is a really good set of stencils to have for those of us who like to make stuff ourselves and give it as gifts and, and such. So uh, if I already have it, I will re-gift this. Oops. I picked up a receipt book uh, just because lately I was going through some pieces of ephemera that I have, uh, actual real ephemera, and some store-bought ephemera that, you know, is already, it's not real ephemera, but, you know, it's sold, like, as ephemera, like, the Tim Holtz stuff, and, and uh, there were receipts, and I just thought, oh, you know what, I can doctor these and make my own old-fashioned, quotation marks, type of ephemera, with actual receipts like you know can tea dye these or coffee dye them and you know scribble on them and all that so uh ruffle rough them up so they look very vintagey and i just thought oh that's that's one way to make my own ephemera i just thought i'd share that with you this dollar tree is one that i not i don't go as frequently as my regular one of course, that doesn't make sense, yeah. Uh, there were three pink binders left on the shelf. I snagged them up because I really like using these for organizing in my studio here and in my office, so I picked them up. I'm still looking for the page protectors because I I look online, I look in stores, and, off, and I really can't find a better price than what we were getting from Dollar Tree on those page protectors that fit in here but lo and behold it's been like a year since I've seen those page protectors. Um, picked up a few stocking stuffers nothing very exciting but I thought I would share with you because I I have a lot of guys in my life and so it's really hard to and you know they're not little boys anymore so I got these three things that I thought are really practical to have, especially when they travel, when they go to the gym, when they just go overnight somewhere, are for everyday use in their backpacks, briefcases, etc. So I got a package of screen cleaning wipes. You get 20 sheets in here. I got this uh, small can of shaving foam and this box of wet ones, the antibacterial wipes, these are individually wrapped. There's 10 in here. So they're just, you know, they're just small enough to stick in the stocking and plus they're very practical. My Dollar Tree, this, no, not my Dollar Tree, this Dollar Tree had some terrarium planters, the Fry Floral Garden. And this one has a little hole on the side here. So I've hauled terrariums similar to this from Dollar Tree a while ago, I have a whole bunch of them, but I, the ones that I hauled did not have the hole here, and I believe they're smaller. Maybe that's my imagination. I, I don't know where they are right now. Well, I know where they are, but I'm not going to go bother getting them. So I picked up a few of these. Um, so I actually, I think I got three of these. Yep. And there was some new hand soap. They had like a lot of cases of that of them. And this one is hibiscus flower. I find it's kind of watery. It does have a lovely scent. So I'll give it a try. I'm not too sure, but you certainly get a lot for your money. It's 25 fluid ounces. So I might, I wanted to give this a try, see what I, if I like it. Uh, but if it's too watery, then I don't know that I'll buy it again. Oh, the store had some more of the cherry pie filling and this stuff is really yummy to make a quick little pie. So I picked up a few cans of that. And they also, this store also had some of the coconut milk. So I picked up a few cans of that to uh, use in a pinch, uh, you know, as a substitute for milk, of course, but also to use in recipes. And on the can itself, they're a recipe for um, a Thai soup, a famous Tom Yum soup recipe. So that might be fun to try if you're into um, Asian cooking. So I got that. Uh, I picked up some more of the cat pan liners. Uh, I got 10 in here. I was happy to see the hand support instant 
uh, classic support helps relieve muscle and joint discomfort um, I have a lot of issues with my hands sometimes and I do in it injure them easily so these are really handy for me to have they are not as good as the ones that I, I get from uh, the you know the therapist and all that but they do in a pinch and I just thought these would be handy to have like I can leave one in my car leave one in my purse leave one in my travel bag type of thing so I picked up a few of these to have just as backup I also picked up some of these heat wraps um, my husband swears that these are not good <laughs> but I find that when you are you've pulled a muscle and you need heat these are better than nothing <laughs> So, um, yeah, I find that they they are a quick, get some relief very quickly. No, they don't last very long, and they don't take care of your entire problem, but they just provide enough relief for you to, you know, look into getting some more adequate uh, help. And, yeah, so that's why I got a few of these, because we're always... I'm always pulling something and you know everybody else here too is always doing something that they shouldn't have done. <laughs> a repurchase again the Mr. Noodles the spicy chicken my son loves to eat these these it's by first line sleek trust me to relax shampoo and clean a shampoo brush uh, it says designed for natural hair texture Massage a scalp while shampooing. Therapeutic bristles designed for all hair types. Promotes healthy hair. Um, I don't know anything about this. It's it's very it's plastic. Um, I'm not sure how this would not tangle up my hair or anything. But uh, I just thought maybe this would be a good brush to have for cleaning something or for using to make a like a print effect um yeah I'm not too sure about using this in my hair but yeah I just thought this would be something else than what it's supposed to be and I got some of these training pads no we don't have a puppy and we're not getting a puppy uh, and these are the bonus pads bonus packs you get five pads in here uh, they're heavy duty, a super absorbent, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I just thought these would be handy to have because sometimes we have to carry, like, if you're going somewhere for a party, let's say, and you have to bring a crock pot or something, and you put it in the box in your car. I just thought that putting this in the box with that, if it spills, then this absorbs the spill. And then I just started thinking about all the other possibilities of using this. And I was thinking, oh yeah, this is also good for carrying plants, you know, when you're moving, so you don't get like water all over your vehicle and you're moving the plants. And, and of course, if you have a puppy, they're great training pets. <laughs> And I've also heard that uh, these also work in a pinch if you have to uh, have a, a home delivery. <laughs> They're very good at absorbing liquids. Not that I'm going there <laughs> at all, but I said, oh, at least, you know, think outside the box. This is good for puppies and good for people too. <laughs> and yeah, I really don't think I found much much crafty stuff besides the stencils I showed you, the binders, and these chenille stems, the pipe cleaners. I know you can get larger packages of just gold, just red, just green, but I just wanted a small package because I already have a lot of pipe cleaners at home. I wasn't sure how many of each I had, so I just thought I'd get a small bag like this. You get 45 pieces, crafter square. Again, I've seen uh, at Dollar Tree larger packages of just gold, just red, just silver, just green. So, uh, but for me, this is all I need. <clears throat> These are new at the Dollar Tree I was at. They're again by that sleek, first line sleek brand. They are Grow and Groom Family Brush uh, Firm Bristles. And it's a wooden a wooden brush it's it's seems okay and I just thought I would get these for my boys uh, 
so they would brush their hair every once in a while. <laughs> so I, I will give it a try. And yeah. I also picked up this, uh, this comb again, first line sleek. I will lift it up. It says it's a style pick and it's got like a fist at the top. But it's actually, it's a flexible plastic. So it's a little bit, it's not as brittle as some of the other combs I've seen at Dollar Tree. And uh, my son has curled, one of my sons has very curly hair. So, um, and you know, of course I get tangled with hats in winter and stuff. So I just thought maybe this would be uh, helpful to him on those days where his hair is really tangled and he wants to, you know, get those tangles out without brushing it all out and looking like a doofus. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, here's another stocking stuffer that I found. Uh, Silly Putty, the original Silly Putty. I mean, those are fun to have in, this, in your stockings. So I got a couple of those. And, 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 and. New, oh, I had picked up the other stickers for the building blocks, the building block stickers. I had seen the other ones before and I have hauled them, but this, uh, now these ones showed up at the Dollar Tree that I was at, so I got them. They're so cute. There's a pack, it's a pack of four sticker sheets. They're all very different. I don't know if you can see that. And um, yeah, so I got this. There's kitty cats on it. So this will be fun to have in my, my craft stash. I picked up these little uh, disposable paper cups. These are great to leave in the bathroom for, you know, gargling, brushing teeth, etc. And I just thought with cold and flu season, I'd rather that my, my boys have disposable cups uh, instead of always, you know, rinsing out the glass cup. So here's a cute Christmas bag alert. These are new. Uh, they're new to me. They have this one uh, and it says Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. And it has this cute red wagon with the little cardinals on the little Christmas tree. Very, very cute. And this, this side. The side is the scene that continues. So it's like, a, it's a wintry scene with some trees on the backdrop. So I think this is a really pretty bag. And another bag, and there was only one of these with a red tractor. And I know some people will absolutely love this. And I think it's a beautiful bag. And this, this is a good representation of where we live. Uh, I, I see it on a lot of properties around here. Uh, people are proud of their vintage tractors because we have a lot of farmers here and there are some of these just like this uh, displayed on people's um, properties and you know and then in the summertime they put flowers in them and now at Christmas some of them have actually like de decorated them and it's beautiful so I just thought I had to get one of this one of these and now these other bag I other bags I found or I know a lot of people are gonna love this one. It's Santa and the snowman in a red vehicle. Looks like a car, probably a convertible with their tree in the back. <laughs> I just thought this is so cute. So I had to get some of these. And the other bag that I loved is this one. It's very, very big. I don't like if I could get it, the whole thing in frame. So here it is. But you have a a Santa. It looks a bit like a gnome because of the hat, but it's a Santa and a reindeer with a bouquet of balloons in Santa's van. That's what it says here. Santa's van. <laughs> this like <laughs> Like a VW uh, van. How cute is that? It says, tis the season. So these are really fun bags. I bought some bags another week and I thought I would frame them. And it turns out that an 8x10 frame would suit those bags better because of the, the shape, the, 
the size and shape of that they are. So I found these frames and these were new at the store. These are eight by tens. I chose the silver one. It does have a black strip here, um, but I don't mind. I like this frame best of all the other frames they had. So I got myself three of these to frame some pretty bags. And last but not least, another stocking stuffer that I thought would be cute uh, are the uh, finger fighters, the robot finger fighters, like the rocket socket little, you know, fighters that you had in the little plastic, <laughs> the ring there and they, you know. So I just thought, what? A, that's a classic game and I just thought it'd be fun uh, to give this to my adult boys. <laughs> just for the heck of it, just because it's uh, something they play with. And I think we still actually have the actual game uh, somewhere in the basement. So just wanted to get that as a stocking stuffer. And that is it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you got some a few ideas for stocking stuffers and some other crafty storage organizing things that, you know, that's my jam. And I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, please comment, please share. And also, uh, for those of you who had entered my giveaway, only one of you has responded with your mailing address, uh, Krista. Uh, and I've got your address, so I will be sending that out to you this week. Of course, you know, uh, you since you live in Canada, you know that we are having a, issues with uh, Canada Post apparently. There's, the strike is, happens in different parts of the country, so that may affect how long it'll take the package to get to you, plus the fact that this time of year it's very busy. So I apologize for that, but that is totally beyond my control. And uh, as for the other two, I have not heard from you, and um, I did say 48 hours, so, uh, you know, I, my, I've extended it another 24 hours, hoping that you guys would respond, but you didn't, so I might have to draw two more names uh, at a later time. So thank you again very, very much for watching. Take care of yourself and stay crafty. Bye.